long and hard about exactly how we were going to shoot this video. What kind of angle would we use? Gimmicks, maybe. But then we thought, no. Let's bring the cars to Wales and let them do the talking. This is the Ferrari 458 Spider. And this is McLaren's rival, the 12C Spider. Ferrari knows a thing or two about making mid-engine sports cars. This is the latest in a long line that goes back to the Dino of 1968. Like Ferrari, McLaren has an awesome motorsport history. However, it's far less prolific when it comes to building road cars. This, in fact, is only its third. The 458 Spider is identical to the Italia Coupe, so there's the same 4.5 litre V8, which develops 562 bhp at 9,000 rpm. And this thing is bloody quick. When McLaren launched the MP412C Coupe, it got a bit of stick. So what it did was it took the twin turbocharged V8 motor and turned the power up from 592 bhp to 616. Is the 12C Spider exciting? Yes. So, um, Leo, can you tell me a bit about how the Ferrari has performed? Certainly lively and uh, really, yeah, really good fun. When you say lively, a few moments? A couple. With the McLaren, the turbos come in so strong that you put your foot down and it's actually a while before things get a bit frisky, I suppose, um, which is quite terrifying. Tomorrow we're going to swap over because I want to see if that Ferrari, A, feels as fast as the McLaren, which I suspect it probably won't, but B, does it feel as special? And Leo's going to have a go in the McLaren. And hopefully we'll get the roofs down. The McLaren, I think, is a more subtle car than the Ferrari. But once you are aware of what this car can do, it's, it's absolutely incredible. The way this car stays level through corners, the grip, the pace, and it is quicker than the Ferrari. It's a sensational car to drive. In. <laughs> oh. It's amazing, given how yesterday we talked about how similar these two cars are on paper, and yet to drive, the Ferrari just feels completely different. It's more vocal, as you can uh, probably hear. There's a slight feeling in this that the car has taken a small element of control uh, away from you to get that, that incredible um, composure through corners. The thing about this 458 is it feels special no matter how fast you're going and that really is quite good in a car like this because as much fun as it is to go very fast, the fact is you can't very much of the time. Right, so two days of driving these cars. Yep. And I have to say, the end of yesterday, having spent all day in the McLaren, I thought there's no way the Ferrari can be better than that. But after spending today in the Ferrari, it is better, isn't it? I, I wouldn't say better so much as more fun. The McLaren, in terms of uh, composure, the grip through the corners, it's an incredible car to drive. It's a lot faster as well, actually. It's isn't quicker, it? yeah, yeah, it's definitely quicker. I mean, the thing to point out here is these are both five out of five stars, aren't they? They are both oh, phenomenal yeah. cars. Yeah. But for us, it's the Ferrari. So there you have it. If you've got a couple of hundred thousand pounds spare, you fancy a convertible supercar, Ferrari 458 Spider.